She's the Aggies' top pitcher, a three-time high school state champion. But it's the line in the junior's bio about being a Longhorn that catches many by surprise. I obviously had two good years in Austin. Um, I was pretty happy with my play there. After going 32-4 and four in a pair of seasons with a sub-2 ERA, Fox decided she would transfer. Just wasn't the right fit. I just felt like, you know, something was just not clicking. So I decided to make the change. And at first I didn't know, obviously, where I was going to go. You know, it was kind of shot in the dark. But I just felt like, you know, it was the right thing to do. I took some time and reflected on the play and kind of the whole situation and felt like my best bet was to, to leave and transfer. And um, thankfully I ended up here in Aggie Land and it's been the best decision that I've ever made. The Ags were familiar with Rachel. Aggie head coach Joe Evans actually recruited her out of high school. And Fox beat the Maroon and White during A&M's final season in the Big 12. She's tough to play against because she's got that fire in her eye at all times and uh, she's got that poker face on and you can tell she just wants to beat you. That's all she's thinking about is I, I want to strike you out or I'm going to get you out and, and that mentality, you know, when a hitter goes in there, the, the challenge is who's going to control the at-bat and Rachel's good at controlling the at-bat. So to see that on the flip side, uh, playing against her and then all of a sudden now she's on our team. It, it makes you feel like that's she's a really great asset. You know, it's much it's a much better feeling to be in a position where she's on your team helping your team win games. But before Fox could join Texas A&M per NCAA and SEC transfer rules, the Sugarland native had to sit out a year. So while her new team dominated most of 2013, losing in the Super Regionals to the eventual national champion Oklahoma, Fox watched. Sitting out was probably one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do as an athlete, you know, especially I'm really, really competitive and I like to be in there, especially in pressure situations. So um, that was definitely hard, but I think it's made me a better overall athlete because of it. She says the time off the field focused her on the mental aspect of the game, while she also thought about her life after softball, which she hopes will be in television. We think she'd be great at it, honestly. She loves the camera and, you know, the camera loves her. And I think she's going to be really good at it, especially if she's able to do something with softball because she just loves the sport and has a lot of passion for it. And, um, yeah, we definitely give her a hard time, though. She's a princess. She, she always has her hair done and her makeup done and, you know, to the T. So, yeah, she definitely gets a hard time for um, around the locker room, that's for sure. I think being able to relate to them a little bit better. Um, and I like the camera, so I'm not really shy. And um, I'm not afraid to ask the tough questions, you know. I'm going to dig in there and get, get the good story. Her career aspirations must wait for now, at least until the final chapter of her Aggie career concludes. Chris Vlahos, KAGS HD Sports. And that's another strikeout, which means more strikeout t-shirts.